What happened? Well, we did as you told us, but didn't figure we'd have to kill old man Pegas to get the deed to the property. You did get the deed? Sure we got it. One of the Pegas brothers got me. Oh, you'll be all right. I'm going to make it worth your while. Here's the papers you've been wanting so bad. This makes me the biggest landowner in these parts. And you won't be bothered by any of the Pagans clan for a long time. We plugged his brother when he followed it. That's fine. It's the end of the Pecos family as far as I'm concerned. Sure. You wouldn't be one enough to kill the little Pecos kid just to complete the record. No. The Pecos kid? <laughs> we don't have to be afraid of him. He's only a baby. <laughs> My boy, Dr. Evans, Jose, come close. Do not excite yourself, my old friend. I must speak. Grayson. He's finished his work. He's killed my brother. Now he's killed me. Lan, you must not say those things. No, no, Lona. I have not long to live. I must tell. I know only too well. My end is near. Grayson, he has the deeds to our rancho. He has money, power, and influence. It would be only too easy for him to transfer the deeds into his own name. He's control the land office. And you, Lona, you will never prove your ownership to our little rancho and the mine. No, no, they can't do that. It is true, Lona. Grayson is a scoundrel. And there's nothing we can do about it. But this land was given to our family by the King of Spain. My boy. Listen, my son. I cannot leave you at the rancho. The only thing I have left is my gun. Lona. My friend, when Donald, he becomes a man, you tell him how they stole his property in his mines. It would be as you wish, Don Picos. Your boy will know and carry on where you live off. Rest easy. Your boy can count on me. Is this all, Dad? Yeah, that's it. Chuck, you ride the trail ahead. Slim, you ride a quarter of a mile behind. Now, all of you keep your eyes open. There's a lot of dust there, and if anything happens to it, it'll be just too bad.
Keep your eyes peeled now, and don't take chances. Senor, do not make the mistake of trying to see my face. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. That's good. Huh. I don't think you need this. No. Vamos, pronto. Remember what I told you, eh? Yeah. Oh. Hey, do not look behind you. Throw the saddlebag on the rod. It is too heavy for me, I'm afraid. Gracias. When I leave you, do not try to warn your friends ahead. Because if you do, I will have to shorten your stay on this good earth. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll be meeting up with you again. I'm sure of it. And when we do, Always you remember that I only take what is mine. Adios! Get up. Ah, this is just the beginning. <laughs>
Mr. Donnell, you should not ride alone. If the Graysons know you are a Pecos, your life would not be worth one centavos. Don't worry, Jose. I haven't done so bad for the first time out alone. Look, some of the gold that rightfully belongs to us. No, oh, quick inside before someone should come. The problem now, Jose, is what to do with it. Mm, I have prepared for that. Here, in this secret hiding place. Ah, that's good. And now, I must return to the Graysons. If they suspect me now, all your plans will be spoiled. Grayson has completely forgotten that any one of the Pecos family is still alive. Uh, it is just as well. I hate to think what would happen if they should ever find out that one minute I am with you and the next minute I am with them. <laughs> Don't worry, Jose. They won't ever suspect until I'm ready to let them know. Adios. You clumsy old fool! Get a club, wipe it off in a hurry. You clumsy lout! Get something you can clean it up with. Get out! I don't know why I've kept him. He was on the place when I took it. If I'd had any brains, I'd have got rid of him a long while ago. How long have you had this ranch, Jim? A long time now. It took me nearly ten years after the Pecos brothers died to prove that their claim was no good. All that time? And you almost run the land office? <laughs> I had to be careful. Looked like they nearly had me once. But I got out of it all right. Didn't one of the brothers have a wife and a kid? Yeah. But they went back to Mexico or Spain or somewhere. What are they doing back here so soon? Up. The dust was lifted, Dad. What do you mean? Just that. We were stuck up on our way to town by a lone bandit. Things happened so fast we didn't even get a chance to look at him. Get the sheriff. He's already started. Why didn't you put up a fight? You let a lone bandit rob you of a fortune. Well, what do you look like, son? I told you, Dad. None of us got a look at him. The only thing we heard was his voice. He spoke with a Spanish accent. Chuck. Take some men and go down to the Mexican quarters and see if you can see any new faces hanging around. And if you find any, string them off without asking questions. That'll teach them a lesson. Say, come to think of it, there was one thing I didn't see, and that was a pearl-handled revolver he held. The only one I ever saw like it before belonged to one of the Pickett's brothers. Sure, I remember that. It was engraving on the barrel. Pecos. What did you say? I was just think, senor. The part handled gun. It reminds me of the senor Pecos. Like you say. Dead men don't come back after 20 years. Jose. I knew I'd kept you for a reason. You'd know a Pecos if you saw him. It was so many years ago. He was a little boy. You'd know him. Get out and look. And if you find anyone that looks like the Pecos tribe, let me know. Si, sí, senor.
I counted on that gold shipment pulling me through a tight spot. Well, it wasn't my fault. I'm not saying it was. I've got to figure another way to raise some money. How many head of cattle can we get together in a hurry? A couple hundred head overnight. That'll help. You round them up and get them into market. You get them there and I'll handle the selling. And you go with them and make sure that those cattle get there. All right. Wonder if that could have been Pecos Kid. I can't thank you enough, Dr. Evans, for all the things you've done for me. Mm -hmm. And now getting me this job in the land office. It took a lot of politics, my boy. They wanted to know who you were and all about you. I had to tell a few lies, but it finally worked. The job is yours. It's the one chance I have needed to prove that Grace and all of the original landies that were granted to my family. You're going to have to be very careful. The slightest slip on your part that you are a fakers. Hmm. I hate to think of it. Don't worry. I understand my name is supposed to be Ellis. I'm just here from the East, and I'm the son of a very dear friend of yours. That's right. I haven't even taken my daughter Mary into my confidence. She doesn't know but what you are, Mr. Ellis, from the East. What's wrong, Jose? You're in great danger. At this very moment, Grayson's men are searching the Spanish quarters, looking for a man carrying a gun like yours. If they know that you are the son of Pecos, your work in the land office will be at an end. You're right, Mr. Evans. I'll keep my gun out of sight. But keep it handy in case of an emergency. Oh, my young master, you should see the look on Grayson's face when his son tell him he have lost the gold. <laughs> Before I'm through with Grayson, I'll have a chance to watch his face. I'll make him cry for mercy, the mercy he never showed my father. Grayson will be glad to leave this country, on a rail or in a coffin. For me, I prefer to see him in the coffin. Jose, we must watch him at every turn in the road. Every time he makes a move, we must block that move. Do you understand? See, si, it will be with a great pleasure. If I have news, I will see you tonight. I will be waiting, here. Adios. Adios. cattle belong to us. Whatever we do, we're within the law. See, si, Master Tarnal. Well, boys, the cattle are resting pretty good. We'll let them rest about another hour and then move on. Hey, Judd. Hmm? There. No. Well, I did. Go over and see what it was. Do not try to look at us, my friend. Give me the horse. Who is at the camp with you? Hey, Slim and Chuck. Ah. You call Chuck. Chuck! Chuck! Louder, please. I don't think he can hear you. Chuck! Chuck! Now, what's the matter with that guy? Go on over and see. What's happened? What's the idea? Reach for it. The idea is the same for you, my friend. What do you suppose is the matter over there? Boys, look at the cattle. Get your horses.
stampeding our cattle, robbing our mine. There's a limit to this. But if Judson brings back the right papers, we'll make up our losses in no time. Well, it's a sense that somebody knows too much about what we're doing. I'd give him a right arm to find out who. Put it out. You want everybody in town to know we're here? Now give us a match, but keep it covered. Here it is. That must be Judson and Jack. Did you get it? Sure, here it is. Great. This is the original survey on the old Amarada. Make yourselves comfortable, boys. Pour them a drink. Hey, did you put the other one in the file? It's all set. The combination works perfect. Nobody will ever know anyone was around. Fine. Now, tomorrow, I protest this survey and file my own claim at the same time. Then you mean, Dad, that the old Lamarada Rancho is unclaimed and open for filing? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Due to a mistake in the original survey, which will be apparent when I file my protest. I better get rid of this and make sure that it doesn't find its way back to the land office. I'll turn on the heat. Catch up with him, Dad. What did he get? The original survey on the La Mirada. But what could he want with that? I wonder.
You're not thinking of catching bandits, are you, Miss Evans? Oh, hello, Mr. Ellis. I hope they don't catch him. <laughs> Why, he's a desperado, isn't he? He may be, but if he's truly the son of the Pecos, he's only taking what belongs to him. <laughs> well, I'm quite sure it won't help this son of the Pecos if he were caught. You sound as if you want him to be caught. Well, my sympathies don't count. You know bandits are outside of the law. And so is land stealing. It's time someone took the law into their own hands. <laughs> well, if you feel that way about it, I'm quite sure he won't be caught. I hope you're right. <laughs> I'm forgetting. I have to open the office. Aren't you coming in? Surely. <laughs> I understand there was quite a bit of land stealing a few years back. There's very little can be done about it now. It's really a shame. You've no idea how much misery and unhappiness was caused. Mr. Grayson, the owner of the Rancho Grayson, they say had the real owners, the Pecos brothers, killed. He didn't do the actual killing. He ordered their shooting so that he wouldn't have to be bothered with them after he'd stolen their land grant. Yes, I know. I've heard about that. Why isn't something done? There's nothing can be done. If I were a man, I'd do something instead of saying nothing can be done. But don't you see how hopeless it is? Even with this bandit, the Pecos kid, who is trying to do something? Why, it's only a matter of time until they catch him and hang him? At least he has courage. Oh, do you think so? Well, don't you? Well, I hadn't even thought about it. No. Good morning, Miss Evans. Good morning. And you, Donald? Fine, Mr. Parkins. <laughs> yeah. And how are you? Very well, thank you, Mr. Parkins. Nice. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, well? Well, uh, goodbye, Donald. Goodbye. Uh, good morning, Mary. Good morning, morning. Mr. Grayson. Good morning, Mr. Grayson. Good morning. I have here the survey on the La Mirada Rancho. It shows that that land, which is next to mine, is without title. And here is my paper, ready to file on that section. Everything seems to be all right here. It's funny that the old survey should be wrong, though. Isn't the original grant on file? Why, yes, of course. I'll check it. There isn't any unclaimed land in the La Mirada, Mr. Grayson. The survey on this old grant seems to be in order. Let me see this paper. It's the original, you see. Looks as though it's been burned, doesn't it? How did that get in the files? Why, it's been there for years, I presume. But uh, isn't there another copy? I'm quite sure there isn't another on record and that you've been misinformed. But I'll look again. Can't you stay and talk to me a minute? I'm in a hurry. 
Oh, really? <laughs> well, uh, I'll let you go this time if you'll give me a little smile. Let me go. When you smile. Take your hand off that door. Just a minute, Grayson. Didn't I hear Miss Evans say she was in a hurry? Oh, so you heard that. This is going to cost you your job, young man. Maybe. I wonder how that paper got back in the files. That new land office clerk was smart. I could do business with him, but he isn't the type. Well, he certainly surprised me. I didn't expect him to act that way. But you just wait. I'll get even with him. Say, you know, there's something fishy about that guy. I don't know what his game is, but he sure got one. Maybe. Suppose tonight at the Evans party, you kind of draw him out. You might learn something. We'll just do that. You shouldn't have done that. Yes, I know. But he had it coming to him. It was all my fault. I shouldn't have stayed. But the real reason I came was to tell you that Father wanted you to come to the party early tonight because he has some papers for you to look over. All right. I'll be there. I am sorry. Goodbye. Goodbye. Parkins. <laughs> I think we ought to change the combination. Oh, uh, you mean on the safe? Uh, yes, that is a good idea. The old one's been used long enough. Uh, I'll have him to two. Uh, oh. Uh, I, I'm sorry now. I'm sorry now. No. Talk 
to you, Mary. Eric, you've been drinking. My father. <laughs> oh, now, Mary, uh, you wouldn't do that. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I want to talk to you. Uh, go away. Now, Mary. Let me go. Now, I want to apologize. Let me go. Grayson, you should have taken warning today after what happened in the land office. You Graysons always were a little gun. So you're the Pecos kid. Yeah. Get out. Yes. Does it make any difference? Yes, a lot. Everyone here will know who you are. Go quickly before you're killed. All right. But close your eyes first so you can't see which way I go. Why? Uh... Tighter. Tighter. I found him. Get some men together. It's Donald from the land office. He's the Pecos kid. He is. All right, Harry, you. Jack, Judson, Chuck, Slim, after him. You recognize him. He's a fellow that works in the land office. And when you find him, don't waste time bringing him in. String him up. I'm sorry, Dr. Evans and Miss Mary. I hope this won't spoil your party. You know, it's a funny thing. I never suspected that fellow. The boys will get him all right. I could have captured him myself, but... I wouldn't brag so much. A fine shot, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos is an excellent shot, my friends. Do not compel him to kill you. Gentlemen, music. I'd like to dance. Mary, will you dance with me? dance with you. But the others will return soon. Why, they're chasing me in the hill. But how could you ride away and then come back? Why, that was a friend of mine they're chasing. I never went away. But now that they know who you are, where can you go? Where can you hide? I have many friends. Your father is one. I now bid you good night. Thank you, Mary. Adieu.
We couldn't find him. Why, that was the Pecos kid. Where? He just went out the door. Get him. Get that man, Carlos. Upstairs. Father, you knew it all the time. Yes, Mary. But I was sworn to secrecy. His family were my friends. I think he's wonderful. <laughs> so do I. Sure enough, heavy. Well, it ought to be. With the weight of the box and the gold we've got in it. Put it in the buckboard. All right. See if you can get this to the express office without losing it. No danger this time. Oh, uh, we'll get it there, all right. And while you're in town, you might tell the sheriff that I'm offering another thousand dollars for the arrest of the Pecos kid. And to make it good, pay him off in dust from there. Here, open it up. there five minutes ago. I put it in there myself. Say, who besides ourselves was in the room when I loaded this box? Nobody but us. And Jose. Hey. We'll find Jose and see... See any strangers around here? You're around here? No, senor. I see no one. See what I found. Look what I found on Jose's bed. So, we're in on this, huh? Where's the rest of that dust? Sorry, senor. I know nothing. Give me that. That'll give you something to think about. You and that Pecos kid. Tie that buzzard up and drag him off to town. This business about Donald must have been quite a surprise to you, Parkins. Uh, well, uh, yes, it was. Uh, it's a sure thing. I never did suspect he was the Pecos kid. the other end of the street. You will take my gold, will you? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. They're dragging someone down the street behind a horse. <laughs> going on down there? Huh. Just a little necktie party. Well, this is a good place to hold it. Throw up that rope. Go in the line, Eric. I'll fix the knot. Right. Here you are. Take your end away. I'm coming down to watch the party. I say, Jack, 
What's all the excitement? Grayson's a hanging old Jose. He says he's mixed up with this fakest kid. Jose is no bandit. In heaven's name, why doesn't someone do something? I doubt if anyone could do anything with Grayson running the show. Here, Mary, this is no place for you. Go inside. Hang on to him, Judd. All right, Chuck. I want to pick me a good spot across the street to watch this show. All right, Dad. I'm tied hard and fast. Are you ready? And I'll wait. Take him away. Grayson, you're in a mighty bad position. Any of you are meant to go for his gun, he might miss, but I won't. Untie Jose and let him go. All right. Eric, untie him. Jose, take that horse. You know where to meet me. I see. Well, my young friend, it looks as though we're going to have a double hanging. Yeah, here's his swinging, mate. We're looking for James Grayson. Where can we find him? He's heading that necktie party over there. Come on, Ed. Isn't it customary to give a man a trial? Sure. We'll give you one. Harry, is this the man that robbed you of my gold dust? Sure. Slim and Chuck can prove it, too. Yeah, he's the same fellow that stampeded our cattle. Well, now that my trial's over, what about Jose? He's innocent of all charges. We're just going to hang him to keep you company. We found the dust that you stole in his shack, and he knows too much. All right, boys. Get him over there and get the job done. Right, put that down. Put it down. Uh, we'll postpone this little party for a while. Who's Grayson? I am. What of it? You're under arrest, Grayson, for the forgery of some land grants. What do you mean? Oh, but you can't prove it. We've already proven it. Now, your son, Eric, is he here? The gentleman on my right. Take him away, boys. Oh, well, son, I guess everything's about all over, thanks to you for gathering all that evidence against them. Huh. It's a fine piece of work. Now it's up to us to corral the rest of them and bring them justice. You really ought to thank Dr. Evans. It was his idea that I go to work in the land office. Well, it was a good idea. I'm going along with you, Marshal. I think Mary's looking for you. She's in the office. I'll be right along. Well, Jose, our work is done. <laughs> oh, no, Master Donald. Our work is just beginning. We now rebuild the Pecos Rancho. Ha! 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 Ha!